Hi everyone, my name is Wayne Lakani and welcome back to another Java tutorial. So in this uh, channel, I make Java videos every week or every weekend. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be uh, teaching you guys as, uh, how to install Eclipse IDE 2023 or VS Code IDE. Okay, so first of all, if you want to install Eclipse, then just go to Chrome or Google, then search down Eclipse down. Okay, and then once you are done writing that, just simply write, uh, yeah, just simply scroll down until you f find eclipseide.org, and then just click on it. So yeah, once you have finished clicking on it then click on download 2020 okay and then yeah so as you can see here if you are in mac os then you have to click on uh, this link but if you are in windows like me then you have to click on this link and if you're in linux then you have to click on this link so since i'm in windows so i have to click on this one yeah, so as you can see here, it, there would be like a download button. So yeah, you just have to click on it. Now look, voila, yeah, you have finished downloading it. So once it's done, yeah, once it's done, just click on it. And then it's going to take some time to open. Okay, so look, Eclipse Installer. So it's going to take some time to open, okay? So Eclipse Install. So once you're done, uh, doing that so look here eclipse id for java developers so if you want to use eclipse for the java programming language then this uh, this option is uh, perfect for you or you have to click on this option but if you are like a c plus plus a developer or c developer then or you want to like um or you want to like code by using the c or C++ programming language then what do you simply have to do you have to click on this button okay and uh, there's also for PHP developers so if you are a PHP developer or you want to code by using the PHP then you have to click on this one so I, I always code by using Java programming language so I have to click on that okay so once you have done doing that you just have to click install so it's going to take some time to install, okay? So yeah, you have to be patient. Or sometimes it takes too long to install. So you have to be patient and yeah. And I will and I will be skipping. Okay. Now look, it's the install completed. So once it's completed, just click on launch button and yeah. Okay, so you just have to wait because it's just loading. Okay, so here is the workspace where your projects and stuff are going to be saved. And so you can also browse, but for me, it's set up automatically. So, and yeah, so if you don't want this message to be popped up, like every time you, you use Eclipse, then click on this button. But if you want though, then just, uh, then just ignore it. So I want, uh, so I don't want this same message to be appeared again so i will click on this button and then click on launch okay so starting eclipse ide now it's start okay so once you're done installing it you just have to create a new project and a new class so i'll just be creating a project for you guys and then we'll proceed to the vs code installation process so project name any is fun yeah java is fun or maybe java fun okay java fun then once you are done doing that and then just click on finish but or or just uh, click on next but look uh, sometimes there's this uh sometimes there's uh, like it's uh here yeah it's already marked as create module info.java file so you don't have to click on that because it's kind of useless so if it's already like um yeah marked here then just unmark it and then once you're done doing that click on next and then click on finish okay and voila you just created your project and you can proceed on creating the class okay okay so now let's proceed for the installation of vs code maybe no not this one because usually when you click on this one it always works vs code download okay so let's see if it works or not 
well um it's taking forever and maybe the site like uh, there's an error or there are, yeah like technical error or stuff like that yeah service in, uh, is un unavailable so yeah so uh, let's just uh, uh end the video by just installing the eclipse id but I'm um, unfortunately I'm sorry we couldn't install the VS Code because there was an error or the service uh, stuff like that. Okay, so I have to end the video. So and yeah, guys, that was it for my video. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell too, so that you won't miss out any of my videos. And yeah, guys, have a nice day. Bye.